All right, YouTube, today we're going to play some Grixis Shadow. I made, I just did a couple switches. I basically just wanted to jam a fourth Snapcaster Mage into the main deck to see what that, to see what that felt like. Thank Five you, months. Andrew. I better get Appreciate a ring. that. Just to see what it felt like. I just cut a Battle Rage because that was easy. And I cut a Looting for a Thought Scour because there's a bit more of the mirror. And... I just wanted a card that didn't put me down. I didn't really. I made a couple changes. Didn't really put a lot of thought into it, but I just kind of wanted to play some magic tonight. I better get a ring. So let's jump in and play. I was so excited about the four color deck, and then like a Grixis deck won the GP, and I was like, oh. I can't win anymore, which is a sad aspect of life. But yeah, so I, I just, oh wow. Yeah, I just put the fourth, I just cut a Battle Rage because it's been like a little bit more fair matchups going around. I just wanted to try it. Just want to try four snaps tonight in the main deck. Um, again, didn't really think about it too hard. This is the first time I've played this deck in a couple weeks. So what do we got? We got a good one. We're going to bobble ourselves. We're going to hold our wraith, but we're just going to bobble, check out our top card, and then either fetch away or not. Let's move this over here. Because if it's a good one, we'll keep it. If not, um, we'll shuffle it away. That is a good one. We do want that. We are going to need a second land, but we need a shadow. Worse, we need a second land. <clears throat> and we get three looks at a second land here with our draw step. Grow over the burn willows. So we're, we're getting iron. Opponent knows what's up. All right, this game's going to get a little harder unless we can get nasty here pretty soon. I could have fished for a stub, which might have been worth it. I didn't really think about that long enough. Uh... It was probably worth fishing for a stub. Super low odds. All right, so we hit our land. Start with this. I guess I just Serum Visions. Again, hold this Street Wraith. Because the only thing that we're gonna, the only we're only gonna do anything with the street wraith is if we hit a discard spell, and there's six in our deck. Yeah, let's just. We can't get hit with anything too hard next turn, so we might as well just keep setting up and looking for a Gurmag Angler. Oh gosh. We kind of are in the market for a Thoughtseize. Maybe we'll like put this on the bottom, put this on top. Because we need some interaction. Next turn, we can go like Cycle Street Ray, Thoughtseize our opponent. And like, so I think that's what we're going to do. Maybe play out a Shadow to get him a trade. Oh, we did mill over one of our Gurmag Anglers, which kind of sucks. Yield through this turn. All right. So it's pretty minuscule, but I think I'm just going to fetch before I cycle here. Though that leaves me open to getting side. That was stupid. That was stupid. Though I'm probably going to take a side, but I wouldn't have to. I done this right? That was stupid. All right. Well, that was this was this was stupid to do. All right. Well, let's just go like this. I shouldn't have taken that. Also, but that uh, now I'm not playing real. I'm playing too fast. I should take an Ichor Wellspring. They just get the Wellspring back off the trawler. And we might as well just play this as we've got to get them to pop and they at least don't have mana open. 
Hey, Happy New Year, Sam. I should. I gotta slow down and think a little more. Because if I left, I guess if I'd have just taken Icar Wellspring and gone to kill this, they just would have got the Icar Wellspring back anyways. So no matter what, they end up with the Wellspring, but I make it so they sink mana into it. Okay, so they're going to look to take out... No, because they still have Opal plus Citadel. Okay, so they hit a Grove. So, they, so we know their hand. Battle Rage, what I'm talking about. We're not going to fetch because we want to be able to kill a Psy if a Psy presents itself. I think my opponent should take this five. I think that would be a good play for my opponent. Yep. Now crack it. Yep. There's Dark Deal Citadel X. Um, I think so. The problem is, like, if I would have thought seized the Icar Wellspring, they would have gotten it back with the Scrap Trawler, which is a problem we're going to have for the entire game. Um, we don't know anything left in their hand. Like, no matter what, the same results happen, except we think, we, I guess we think they're three mana. And maybe there's a chance they, chance they get to finagle something. Okay. So what do we want to do now? We probably have to snap Serum Visions, because we need to find a Gurmag Angler or a Death Shadow pretty quickly. I'm not going to fetch, because we got to be able to kill Psy if they hit it. And I know that these decks don't play that many, but I'm not going to have to crack this. I'm not going to have to push anything unless they play a Psy. And they don't have a lot of gas. I'm going to put this on the top. Because it's putting it on the bottom is the exact same thing. And we're in the market to deal damage to ourselves with both of these groves. But yeah, I should have taken the... I think I should have taken the Icar Wellspring. But then there's a chance that if I take the Icar Wellspring and leave the... And leave them the trawler, they get something better in the graveyard. Oh, we're just like super dead. Likely dead at this point. Because they get they get at least two cracks at it. Wow, what are they? They have trawler. So trawler they currently don't have ways to draw cards. Because they just have they can get back like engineered explosives. But they've only got twos at the moment. But, again, oh, I'm so stupid. All right, we're going to do this now. Here, I was talking. I just, like, zoned out. And I should have killed this a turn sooner here. It doesn't matter that much because the same thing would have just happened. But. So now they're going to sack this. Because even if I, like, again, I was just talking. So even if I would have like hit this, they'd have gone just sack sack. The same thing. I just got to smarten up here. This, yeah, this is why. I mean, they have five cards in their hand. They they started this turn off with zero, I think. So what do you got? They have a spine. E E for one. Okay. We could hit a Gurmag Angler. It would be nice. You're uglier than I expected. New year, new me. Just getting uglier. I hope you had a good uh, good New Year's there, Brandon. Dude, everyone's good at something. Come on. I got these sweet... My mom got me Ultimate Guard deck boxes for Christmas. Which was gas. I picked up my drunk sister and her friends at 4 a.m. while she was trying to sleep. Where am I? Yeah, that's, that's what family's for. That's what family's for right there. God, who... Your sister's an animal, man. Even when I was in college, I could never party until 4 a.m. I was done at, like, 2. Like, 2 was, like, my limit. 
I was like, screw this, I'm going home. JK, I let her do that. <laughs> At least it wouldn't last that long. Like, she would freeze pretty quick. All right, so what do we get here? This gets a mirror retriever. Probably get scrap trawler, but they're going to be able to go sack sack. They're not going to be able to get, they get mirror retriever. Okay. Okay. So now they've got, it's going to be hard. For, I mean, they, they're probably going to be able to kill me through. Oh, they didn't really have to play sack citadel. Scrap Trawler, okay. I, I mean, it's very likely over right here. So let's see what they target. They're targeting back a zero. Yeah, I'm gonna make them like show me something here, right? Like they need, they technically to go off, they need a, they need a second trawler an ironworks or an iron, access to a second trawler or an ironworks and then they're good so like yeah let me like show it to me first oh nice brb yeah you can tell in my hand at this point I have never used this technology called Google Hangout. So, and again, they just have to show me, they have to show me, they need a second trawler or an ironworks and they got me. Sorry in the bad, thank you very much for the sub, sub. I appreciate you. Scrap trailer, okay. Um, I could like make him show it to me. Let's just make him show it to me. Like, he, can he execute the loop? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna message him so I don't think uh, he doesn't think I'm like roping him. Man, just do it once. That'll be good. I don't think I can break this up even with a fatal push, right? Is there a way I can break this up? They just stack everything. Stack this. Play your, oh, they have a spine loop, okay. All right, all right, you got it. Okay, so they would have played, yeah, so the loop is like, they sack, they sack Scrap Trawler, they get back a one, I guess they didn't have a one. Okay, but they can they can they can that loot me. <clears throat> Game seven. Okay, so we want these. <clears throat> I don't want lightning bolts. Um I don't like battle rage. Yeah, I mean double tra double trawler is like basically game. I've got one card. I kind of even want like one more fatal push. So I've cut two cards. Four stubs. I kind of want four snaps. And ship one of these. My numbers are messed up after I changed a couple things in and out. I've got one card. Got four Kermax. <laughs> oh my gosh, Brandon, your brain is so big. The heavy E for seven. I don't like boarding in disdainful stroke. Just because like all my other cards are just better. 
Like, I like to go, I like to play a lot of removal to be able to handle Psy. And it just incidentally is good at killing, like, their creatures as well. I like four Snapcaster Mages because the disruption is usually just really good. Um, I don't like Battle Rage because, like, Death Shadow is not that good. I've caught one card. I don't really want to cut a zero because I want to be able to hit my land drops and delve. I could cut a Thought Scour. Yeah, I just I just like fix some like move some stuff around, so I haven't really thought about it. But cut some blue snaps and leaves in one push. Really? Wasn't he just talking about he was on my stream a little while ago and he was talking about how he cuts the uh he cuts the battle rages and just plays removal. Yeah, I mean we're gonna keep it. Like we have a serum visions. I would like to see something a little better, but I kind of want visions on. Now nah, we can go discard. Well, we're looking for a threat, so, but still visions on one is kind of mopey. Talking about it yesterday. Okay. <clears throat> so I think we're going to take this here, Ancient Stirrings. And then we're going to take this side. And then we're going to hope to stub something next turn. But yeah, let's just take this Ancient Stirrings. I could take the Chromatic Star, but like. I don't think they're going to leave that Chromatic Star hanging around. They're going to have to crack that to find mana, so it's not like that Chromatic Star is going to help turn these Mox Opals on, I don't think. All right, so we're going to Thought Seize no matter what, and I think we're likely going to Serum Visions now that I think about it a little more. This is, I guess we don't have to take Psy now. Hopefully they hit something relevant that I can get here. If my opponent didn't hit, like, I don't know. <clears throat> so I could just take this EE and then make it so these mocks are just, like, super turned off and stub something that would help turn the mocks on. And that just might buy me time. I kind of like that. I kind of like just hitting this EE and then holding up a stub. The problem is if, well, if, if they play a Psy, they're going to have Opal Opal, but I've just remembered to deal with that. I really kind of want to just get greedy here, hit something next turn, because they can go, what are they going to do? If they play this for zero, hit a land, play this for zero, they can play Psy, play another one, which isn't that great. But I could potentially like put them in a little bit of a trouble here. I think I'm going to take this Explosives. And we're going to see if we can put them in the squeeze here. How lucky. Oh, they hit the Citadel? Oh, that's nuts. Okay. The Citadel was the nuts. Okay, so they cast thing. Oh my god, the Dark Steel Citadel was so good. Yield through this turn. <clears throat> Alright, we had another stub that we're not gonna be able to use. So they they have a spine and that's it. They can't really do anything to us next turn, so let's just famous last words. Alright, we don't want either of these. Because we need a Gurmag Angler. Growl at him. I only growl at somebody when I battle rage them. 
Yo, that Darksteel Citadel was such a tilt. Oh my god. We got Mr. Psy over here. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose like the the un the un the unlosable here. It's gonna be on camera. People are gonna be able to see it. Just kidding. Just kidding. So now we're just gonna get on that snap dismember train. We probably have to fetch a basic. Though I could just go shock. Fetch this tap? That's not a lot. You can get an island, and then put this into play tapped, pay four life, and I'm at eight. That's probably the plan. That's just to casting turn five girl right there when they had three trawlers in play. I remember you talking about that. I don't really want to go that low, though. I think I'm just going to get a basic island. Snap, dismember this, and then put this, uh, put this land into play tapped. I give them a turn to like free range. But they have to draw land, ironworks. And my stuff's likely not going to do anything unless I draw the exact thing. Don't play the long rant, the wrong land last turn. Didn't I draw the land? Didn't I have a little land? That could have happened. I am known for drawing, playing my lands in an inappropriate order. Death Shadow. Oh, God, we can't lose. Get in rumbling, stumbling, bumbling with the Snapcaster Mage. And I could delve and leave the Serum Visions, but I don't think that's worth it. I would rather just like to have two Stubborn Denials. And let's be real, if I draw a Snapcaster Mage, I'm just Snapcastering Stubborn Denial. I decided to play this one. Do you have a fourth side? I was going to say, you bastard. Dude, send, send a message with that Thopter. Bumbling, stumbling, bumbling. We're getting nasty. That's what we're doing. Watch my opponent just play like a play a mirror of that. Okay, that's fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're so close to getting stubbed. God, we are we're a stubborn sword over here. We're just gonna they're just going to rip running size, or not running size, running scrap trawlers, and I just can't win. That's what I'm talking about. I am about to lose to an endless train of scrap trawlers. Grixis. The Grixis is the better deck. Like, I tweeted this out. Like, I was playing with it. Grixis is better. Like... It is. There was a there was a strict time for a little while that Tarnowife was very good. Um, do I want to do this now? I'm definitely attacking. Let's see what they do because I can just block this. I think four colors is a very good deck. Like I think that people um, underrate it. Quite a bit. I'm actually gonna thought scour now because my opponent can only really play one spell next turn that's stubble. What are they drawing? They are drawing the mind stone. They are drawing the mind stone. Oh, I didn't think of this. Chromatic star. Okay. So they have Mindstone Spine in their hand. We draw Steam Vents. Nice. All right. That's good. So they have Mindstone Spine. 
Oh, dude, they're just gonna get pyretic spell bombed into the next week here. I'm gonna have to stub this explosives here. <clears throat> Because we need to block here. Because I need to be able to trade. <coughs> I don't think that bobble was awful. Right? What are you going to do? You're going to hold the bobble when you don't have a push? You're just going to, like, hope to cash in a random card? Okay, so what are they getting back? Another explosives. So can they play E for two? If they play E for two, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Going to E for one? You don't want to trade Snapcaster. I want to trade Snapcaster on defense. Like, I don't want this thing to attack me. I'm at four. Oh, drawing it? Yeah. Yeah, it was not a good draw, which is the bobble issue. All right. What are they getting back? They're probably getting back. If I had to guess, it would be a star. So we know they have Mindstone, Spine. And as long as they don't, they probably have another creature, is what I would guess there. We don't have Bolt in our deck. It's an unfortunate spot of where we are in life. Return to star. Okay. Damn. Um. I mean, we're just attacking. I'm gonna play a tab steam vents, and then we're gonna. And there's not. We don't really have that many plays here. At least we cut off blue mana from this. How's it going tonight, cat? At least they can't go, like, Psy and draw cards. But Psy drawing cards, honestly, is, like, the least of our problems. We have a lot of problems. I kind of just want to stub this. Because if I stub this, and what can they do? Because, like, what I don't want them to do is I don't want them to, to go to a creature. And if they just go, like... They have like they got Mindstone Spine and four other cards. So the chances of me killing them next turn are not that good. I guess spine I guess stubbing this is just insane. <clears throat> yeah. That's not good. So all of a sudden I can't attack. That gets them back that. And I draw a card. So a removal spell here is pretty solid for the home team. <clears throat> what is this? I kind of want to stub this because this makes me think that my opponent's going to play a mirror retriever, and I really don't want to deal with another creature this turn. Because if I draw removal, I push this, get this, and then they just have the mirror retriever. What are they looking to do? Are they going to play like an Icar Wellspring? I really do this one time. I learned how to play Magic and I'm lucky for some fun. For some reason, I decided I hid myself and decided to play it more. <laughs> I really want to stub this. I'm going to. Because if, if my opponent plays a Mirror Retriever, I don't think I can win this turn. Like, I might be able to get them into some... Ah, oh, shit. I should have looked if they made a land drop or not. Okay, I can deal with that. They didn't make a land drop, so they were going to go play another Scrap Trawler. So they get that back. Are we just in the same spot? I can't counter this one. Yeah, here comes your 
Stupid mirror retriever, it's just a mind stone. Okay. We can let that one go. So my opponent has to block, but then I can't attack. All right. So we are back in business. I should attack and then dismember now. Because they have spine and four other cards. I should just attack first, dismember on their turn so they can't get more value off the scrap trawler. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they can spot. We're hoping that we go block and they spine here. I'm, sorry, I'm not paying attention to the chat because this is kind of like a little bit of an intense game. And I'm going to do it on my turn because I actually want them to play spine next turn. I don't want to give them like, I don't want to let them go sack this and their upkeep, you know, do something else. I would rather them just play. Um, I would rather them just like tap out for spine. I don't think they're going to do it. Modern's defensive Death Shadow deck. It, deck's on defense. Yeah, so they're definitely going for something here because they're getting back mana. Five, six, seven. Ah, uh, you got it. <clears throat> they put Ironworks into their hand. We're going to counter this Ironworks. For sure. Okay. That's only good for the home team. Because <clears throat> they can't kill me. They can't, like, loop a spell, a pirate spell on to kill me. They could go, like, one, two, three, four. They have another Mox Opal in their hands. So they could go Ironworks, Land, Mox Opal, Mirror Retriever, which is looking to get even less and less likely at this moment. So I think we got this game. Though it was much harder than it was. it should have been. <clears throat> yeah, you get your opal. Draw a card. I mean, they just are like on the stone reed that I've stubbed. Okay. All right. So what are we talking about here? Yeah, it was not looking that great. So, the removal plan's not good. The Snapcaster plan's not good. I don't really know exactly what we're doing here. If we're going to be 100% above the rim. After that game, I do kind of like another Battle Rage. And I could, like, go like this. We still have, what, two? We have four answers to Psy. Though I think I would rather have Snap than Push. Well, I thought that they were like... At first, Brandon, I didn't see they played a land. I didn't know they didn't play a land, which was wrong. I thought they were going to play a mirror. I thought they were going Mox Mirror Retriever. Because I didn't really understand their play. Of why they would just do that. So I, I thought it was a clear Mirror Retriever. And I was like, if they had played another creature there, I don't think I could have won. Like, I would would I have beaten a board of like Thopter? I didn't read. Well, it's still kind of. I think I would have done it even if I'd known they hadn't played a land, because that means they they would have been able to play a scrap trawler, right? All right, that last round felt like shit, so we're going to try this. Yeah, what's up, sweetie? Yep. All right, I'm going to submit this. Are you like playing up?
I have to save those stuff. I think I have to save those stuff on the KCI there. When you also when you know they have spine in hand. Why well, didn't I, I had three at the time, right? <coughs> yeah, we're gonna keep this. They put me on the play. I guess this is what the big brain people of modern are doing nowadays. I don't understand them putting a deck like this in the play though, because going EE -E on one is is a solid play. Um, so no reason not to fetch. I don't think so. They were looking to go get on that hemorrhage train. I guess I could have just played the blood crypt as the blood crypt's going to come into play that way regardless. Ooh. I kind of just want to take a size surgical and sigh. Because I think that I'm going to be in a... But then it leaves my fatal push kind of dumb. Or kind of null and void. I could just take ancient stirrings. But then the problem is that these two sighs are going to be a problem. And I leave my fatal push for a creature. <coughs> I feel like the game gets so much easier for me if I don't have to worry about Psy. And then I can just push, like, random dorks to power through. <coughs> uh, I could also just, like, take Psy, push the other Psy, and then look to surgical something later. Because I can just wait on this. I don't have to snap this off right now. I can let them dirtle. I feel like I have to take a side, and then we don't have to surgical it if we don't, like, yet. <clears throat> because this fatal push can also deal with the side. All right. Oh, no, they didn't play that. Y'all my coast, Terrarian. They're going to they're gonna play their Mox Opal. They didn't play the Opal. Okay, so let's, let's just play Death Shadow. We don't need this, and we don't need this. So let's go get Watery Grave. Now if they go put a, a second land and a Mox Opal into play, I'm going to Surgical the Psy. Though I did just drew, draw a second Fatal Push, so that might be a little loose of me to do it like that. I don't think I've played this game that well. I also, like, give myself the chance to get uh, hit with a grove here. Ancient stirrings. Okay, that's fine. I guess I'm playing... I guess I should just surge this now. I'm playing with fire, and there's no need to. Because if they just reveal a grove here, then I'm dead. I'm so stupid. This was dumb. I, I just... I got greedy, and I shouldn't have gotten greedy. Because if they just go Grove, do something, then I'm just dead as a doorknob. EE, -E, that's also not good. Jeez. I think now I'm going to surgical this side in order to just pump damage, turn this on. Is the two damage worth it? It makes it so that it's three, 16, five, 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 five. I think I want to do it now in case they get a grove so that we just get the clock going here. Wow, they drew another side. Jeez. That's brutal. I wouldn't have put Shadow into play, to be honest, but maybe that's wrong. I think that I think I should have played Shadow, Brandon, but I should have surgical, like, so that I couldn't get groved. All right, move this over here. Because if my opponent just plays Grove, makes a mana, I just like basically lose the game on the spot. 
Okay, so they play Terrarian, which lets them get Mox Opal into play, which I'm just going to let this happen. We have bigger fish to fry because I'm going to hit this. And then hopefully this just rides me to victory here. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, these that that's what I was... That was the other thing. I could have surgical something else, but... I think it's the best thing I have going on. <clears throat> like, right now, we're just kind of crossing our fingers here. A Gurmag Angler or a Stubborn Die off the top would be the stones. The good thing that we have going for us is he's just so far off from doing anything. Like, he's got... Right now, the hand is Mind Stone plus four cards. And, like, they need lands... And action. Okay. So I know nothing about their hand right now. That's pretty nice. Again, we're just gonna... They don't have a lot to really... They have one dispel in their deck. They have one spine, they have three, they have four scratch, one mirror retriever. Like it's it's going to be tough regardless of what goes on here. All right, well, there's the ironworks. So, no one answered my question why are people like him? Because everything trades, everything literally trades with everything, and nobody has not, nobody has anything. So like, you should just have one more card, especially considering like, I think that it makes people thought sees worse because you just have less information unless you just get underneath. You just you can you run the chance of getting underneath somebody and running them over, but that doesn't really happen in my experience. Okay, so as soon as they put something else in the stack, let's see what they target. We're targeting the star. So what can they get back here? I mean, it's going to be pretty impressive for them to go off from here, but we're just going to... Um, should I go to four? Is there any... Do they have a pyrite spell bomb in? They don't have a pyrite spell bomb in, so they can't... They have no reach, which means that I should just take all the damage. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> it's not really that crippling, I don't think. Okay, so they have Chromatic Star and Mind Stone. That's odd. They make green mana instead of making more mana. I guess maybe they have like lots of stirrings. All right, that'll do it. And then they get that. Mind stone. So now we're in trouble. If you look at Ben Jones' Twitter, he's got it. You know, like, I mean, that, that's, that's, the, that's the data we have. Yeah, so we just attack. We're probably going to lose now, I think. Though they don't have a lot going on here. Okay. <clears throat> All right, well, this street rate's not going to win me this game.
All right. If I stub this, then he has to tap this, which means they lose a card. So basically, this stubborn denial is still trading one for one. So I'm going to hit it. Because that means that either the inventor's fair is turned off or this is turned off from drawing a card. Because <clears throat> like, I don't think this stubborn denial is going to get any better. <clears throat> All right, what do you got? Grove. Okay. I think I think we're in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not right the around, so I'm not going to my four color. Yeah, the, the four color deck is is much better than people give it credit for. It is it is like a very jeez. That probably just kills me. Oh, this is not good. So this gets back. So they're not going to have any mana problems. So it's literally if they just brick on cards. Which I don't think they're going to brick on cards because they get three draws here and the Inventor's Fair. That was a good one. <sighs> now the four, the four color deck is good. It is. It's just like the Grixis is getting better here. Yeah, Traverse is, is it's not a terrible card, Brandon. I think you're a little, it's just, that's your opinion on it. I think it's very good. I think the problem is that the deck has no way to like organize itself. Um, it doesn't, like it can't play a long game, which now the metagame is moving a little bit to a long game. <sighs> You don't keep bolts in, Teddy. You're not keeping bolts in against this deck. Like that's just absolutely egregious. They went and got spine. So now they have the spine loop, right? I'm not gonna make them do this. I'm not gonna make them actually kill me here. Well, the spine turns on my fatal push. So like, I guess we're going to. Because we actually... Oh, shoot! Oh, good thing I have another one. Here we go with the talking. Get it out of there. Now we'll do this one. I'm all over the place. I'm tilted. And I'm about to lose my prime matchup here. Alright. You get a trigger. Now let's get rid of this. Alright. Now we can turn it off. Enjoy your one mana, don't impact the board at all, card and shadow deck. That is your opinion, Mr. Dalloway. You're allowed to have it. So they sack this. They can still spine me. They still have seven cards in their hand, so like, I wish I would. Just got chit chatting, threw away that fatal push. It's literally what the card does. I continue to do in the case I just don't. To be fair, it's a blue camp. There's no the cards the card is like yes, but it's like Two mana for your threat. You know, like, it's no, like, Traverse is no different. It's not really that much different than, I should just, like, scoop this out, though. I think I should, I don't want to really want to make them. Okay. Like, I can't beat this Scrap Trawler. So I'm going to scoop this up here. Because I think they can, because they have, they have the spine. Yeah, they have the loop again. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to make them go through it. 
But they, they can basically spine me out here, and then I can't beat this next turn. Now oh, there was Gurmag Angler. Where were you, buddy? That's a tough one to lose. I mean, that happens, but that's just a tough one to lose. And that's because that's a good deck. Like, KCI is a very good deck. Okay. Yes, the blue cantrips don't affect the board either, you know? So, like, I think that, I think your bias against the card is coming through, Brandon. You have to, you have to, like, when you make an argument about a card. Okay, too far back here, I don't see this. I lose on this push. Yes, the, the cards, like, what just happened was an incredible anomaly, you know? I think the matchup was quite 50-50 because they had a lot of recursion. I would say that the Shadow versus Ironworks is one of the more lopsided matchups in, the, in Modern, in my opinion. Like, it's losable, as we just saw. Like, that deck continues to get better. You know, like, Psy gave me problems. I think you have to respect Psy, but it, it's not like, it's not an auto win there. All right, we'll keep this one. I'm going to lead on a Thought Seize, and I'm not going to cycle Street Wraith because we might have Serum Visions next turn. The recursion is not what matters. Like, and maybe I boarded in game one wrong, or game two wrong, because if I say the recursion doesn't matter, and then I board the way that I did, all right, it's playing its burn. I like playing its burn, to be fair. Okay, so they've got three, six, nine, twelve points. We're gonna take this lightning bolt because, like, we're gonna force them to cast this lava spike right now or waste their mana. We don't want to. We don't want to leave them with as many instant speed cards as possible and try to choke them on two. So that's my biggest strategy against burn is to try and uh, break their curve up with my discard spells. Yeah. When Traverse finds a threat. But, like, the cantrip on Serum Visions is horrible, too, Brandon. Like, you miss, you know? Okay, so what do they do? They win Bloodstain Mire, Lava Spike. Okay. All right. Okay, so I can go to nine. Hoped if I hit a land here, I'm, I think I'm golden because I fetch a basic Thoughtseize play Shadow. I can just go Thoughtseize take Lightning Helix, but I think I've got to cycle this. So let's hit here. Basic land, fetch land, tilt. Now I think I have to see your visions. All right, none of those cards are lands. We're in trouble now. Now I'm in a lot of trouble. Maybe I should have just thought seized. I'd be at nine. Land here would be good. Okay. So now we're in it. It's a little late, but we're in it. They're probably going to Boros Charm me as it just does the most damage. This puts me to seven. Go to five, go to four. I guess I just take Lightning Helix because it can target. I mean, I could just like take Skullcrack to give them the chance to mess up. Like maybe they'll try to kill my creature and I'm probably okay with that. But now they just draw another burn spell, they go at my face. Um, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna take Lightning Helix. And then we're just going to hope they miss on half of their deck. 
for the rest of the game. I think both decks are pretty weak to graveyard shape. I think it's a medium way to look at it, in my opinion. So we want to hit an Inquisition because they might have drawn a two mana burn spell. Okay, so now we're just going to play Death Shadow, play Gurmag Angler, and cross our fingers. And just say, you got it, buddy. If they got it, they got it. <clears throat> Assassin Trophy is, 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 a, is a good addition to that deck. I've been happy with that card. I've been pretty happy with it. All right, bud. They have another fetch land. I'd be dead now if they. I would already be dead. Okay. All right. Come on. Fatal Bush. God, I'm so good at this game. So good at this game. All right. <clears throat> All right. So against this deck, I like the Battle Rage. I like the stub. Um, four Snapcasters is likely one too many. Uh, the Abrade's good. The Push is good. The Command's good. If I see another Ensnaring Bridge, I'll bring in another one of these. But if I don't see an Ensnaring Bridge, then I'm going to leave this. Just one of these. I could even leave it out. I have a Lightning Bolt. I have a Lightning Bolt. Whatever. We're going to go like this. Forgot the lightning bolt was there. Could cut another snapcaster. But I think I'm gonna wait to see bridge before we get too wildly up here. Oh, let's be on full tilt. They just missed. Mr. Dalloway can take it. He can dish it out, but he also can take it. This hand's pretty solid. We need to find a, like one more land, but the fact that we have Shadow Battle Rage is good. I'm likely just going to play Blood Crypt on turn one because like that's going to come into play like that regardless. Oh, well, now we're going to do the Bobble Trick. Or in person. But we all love it. Um, I actually don't think we want Gurmag Angler. I think we're kind of all in on this guy here. So let's just, I think we're going to go Watery Grave. No, never cut Thoughts. Like, you only cut Thoughtseize from this deck in, like, like against Aether Vile. Maybe it's, like, Humans. Dude, I love it when my opponent boards in cards like this. Let's just deal the one that does the most real estate. Does the most damage. Probably play, take this Boros Charm. Because I think this game's going to be a little slow. So Shadow's going to be a four next turn. Seize so against scales. That's it. Yeah, you just, like, Thought Seize is, like, makes the deck go. That's an, also a, just an absolute nut draw. They should attack. Maybe they shouldn't attack. We had a polluted delta. So their hand is they played the sacred foundry, so I'm gonna two really three of these. I can go fetch shot get a watery grave. Or I can go fetch shot get a steam vent, so I just have my red land in play. Which I kinda of wanna do. I go to eight, I have Stubborn Denial and Battle Rage.
Or I could just wait, play this and wait. Like, what are they going to do? So I really don't want to get into the hokey pokey of, like, I can't crack my fetch land. So they draw two one-mana burn spells, and then just, like, don't do anything what happens. I don't want to have to, like, am I going to block? They attack, I go to nine, fetch shock, six, shock four. So I'm just not blocking if they attack. But I, I want to leave myself the option here, I think. And died, I remember. Yeah. I, it's really tough boarding in, like, rest in peace from burn. I think you should have just shocked, in, shocked the crypt in. I don't have to play the hokey pokey if I do that. And burn brought in E Bridge. I guess we lose and Ross Michael. Ooh, that's a good one. Let's start with this. That might get my opponent killed. Because if they skull crack me, I go to six, I go to three, and we just whack them. Okay. So they have six points of burn. We have a stub. I'm tempted to take this skull crack because if they draw a two mana one, they can't get me next turn. If they go take skull crack, they deal me three, eight. They can only deal me eight points of damage because they go bolt me, lava spike, six, hit this for two. I counter the next spell, I'm good. I'm going to take this skull crack. And then we're going to attack. And I'm not going to do anything. Maybe you should take a lightning bolt because it's the same thing. Okay, we just take this. I should have just taken lightning bolt. That was stupid. I should have just take like that was. It's the same thing. It doesn't really like they both basically do the same thing. They're instant speed, three mana. Taking the bolt doesn't matter, right? Well, it doesn't matter. Like, most of the time, mana efficiency is relevant, but it doesn't matter. Like, I should have taken, like, if I'm going to take it, I should have taken the Lava Spike, probably, if I'm going to do something like that. Or I should have taken the Lightning Bolt. Like, so the Bolt resolved. Now they can go, like, if they go Burn Spell, Burn Spell, then I'm good. Like, it was stupid. Like, I made a mistake. But the choice, yes, the choice doesn't actually matter. Like, it's the same scenario in both spots. But... Like, I think in a perfect world, I would have taken Lightning Bolt. Like, if we can redo it over, and I want, like, this is the thing where the 100% correct play was to play Lightning Bolt, the 98% correct play was to take Skullcrack. Yes. You are 100% right there, Mr. Dollar, Dollar Bills. Yes. I watched uh, Jim Davis stream this deck earlier, and holy shnikes. Like, that version that won the GP. Like, good on that guy. And I think I have free reign to do whatever I want here, right? Well, no, because they dropped, like, 
I can fetch the five, which makes my shadow sixteen. They so they can only soak up two points. So my opponent's dead. Even if they drew one mana burn spell, they're dead. I don't think he has played it much. I think that list was rough. Okay. We should do this just to do it. Okay, they have Rift Bolt coming. So we want to fetch an island. We, we just beat everything, right? They have, because they have Lava Spike, Rest in Peace, X. So even if they have Path to Exile, we just win here still. We get a basic, we attack, then we battle Ranger Shadow. Sixteen minus two is fourteen. Okay. Both teams played hard. Let me grab some water. I'll be right back. That had two Faithless Loons and no Seer Visions in it. You're, that's fake news, Brandon. Let me get my slippers, too. I just saw Terminate Brutality on the board and was like, yeah, this looks like. <laughs> uh, all right. I would like to play first. I just did it because I wanted to. There's no real method to the madness. No land heater? No, this hand's pretty solid. Good six. Um, we're going to put that on top. There you got opponent. All right. We're going to just take path. Next turn, take draw call captain. That's the plan. They want to have two ether vials. They can have two ether vials. I think we're going to kill them before it matters. Or at least that's the plan. <clears throat> I think a hand's pretty good. You know, it's not a knockout or anything, but. Hmm. So now, this one which I you don't play anymore. I mean, it makes its way in and out of the deck. So next turn, they can actually protect their Mausoleum Wanderer, their Supreme Phantom, with a Mausoleum Wanderer. That's if they even play it, because they might just go like play Vile, Vile it in. I could just take Supreme Phantom to break up this curve. So I have to push the Wanderer and hopefully kill them by the time the Drog Skull Captain comes down. I kind of like that. Or I could just take. I kind of want to just take the um, Wanderer and then have this trade for this and hopefully figure this out later. Because now they're incentivized to like play weirdly off curve 
the captain might be like, could get me in trouble, but they have to draw land, they're not drawing a spell. I really just want to take this Mausoleum Wanderer. It kind of disrupts me a little bit. Am I going to be able to delve? One, two, three. But maybe they're smart and just do it, Brandon. All right, let's we'll go we'll go with Mr. the big man. We'll go with this idea. I think that like this is the safe like the most conservative play, which is potentially the right thing to do. Yeah, you can push Phantom and hopefully overrun them. Yeah, that's the plan. Another good draw would be a thought seize. I think they should vial this in right now. And I think it's almost just right for them to do that. Yeah, good play. Good play, opponent. <clears throat> I don't want either of these. Put on the bottom. Put on the bottom. If I attack, they go block. I push this, they sack this. They block here. I guess I should just like attack. This attack's just free because no matter what, they're they're not going to. Because, like, if they block here, then I'll push this. And then I'm just going to get this Mausoleum Wanderer off the battlefield right now. Not let him give them the option. Then we can get nasty next turn. Is this your 75 right now on Twitter? We take a lot of conservative plays. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's it should be on the cardboard live thing. It's not on Twitter at the moment. Oh, I'll play this game, buddy boy. You got a vial here. You got anything to do? Big negative. So I'm gonna assume they're on stone. Nothing here. Oh, like it's gotta be like a path would make sense. That's a great draw. So I'm just gonna attack. Path or rattle chains. Makes sense. Um, a three drop doesn't really make sense unless it's a lord. This is a, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to do it, but I don't think. Because I'm not going to be able to use this for the rest of the game, most likely. Okay, that makes sense. Because if I would have killed this in response, you're going to you know, copy my, sh my shady boy. Oh, yeah. Is that what's going on here? Okay. Let's get nasty. Okay, at least we know we're not going to get company. But it doesn't take a lot for them to put a lot of pressure on us here. But we can break this up. They have to block next turn. Guess we messed up. I, I can't read. All right, so they have something to violin, which means we have to hit a way to removal spell. It's not a removal spell. They block. And unfortunately, we did. Here's to them not attacking. Mm. 
<clears throat> should be wild for them not to attack. I'm just going to say that would be a little loose of them. I saw like the one guy go, and I didn't think they were going to do it. They didn't. They definitely didn't go right click, right click attack all. Okay. Cards I like. This is good. This is decent. These are good. These are good. Trim here. Trim here. So that's the first five I want. What did I take out? I took out Serum, which is not Stubborn Denial. The more I play this matchup, the less I want Stubborn Denial. To be honest, this should come in and see that. I like keeping in all of my discard, and then I, I like just less of these the more I play it. Then it's like, do I want Last Hope, Colagon's Command, and if I did, it would probably be over like Battle Rage. But Battle Rage is good with the Shadow. I could cut another Gurmag Angler, but I don't really want to go that far down the rabbit hole. Kick Command's not that great. Yeah, I've been playing three surgicals since after the invite, Envy, and I've fluctuated between... I've had, like, one angler and zero. Like, this used to be an angler. You can't get nasty. I'm like nasty. Yeah, I don't really like a lot of three-mana spells against this deck. We already have four. All right, so what we're going to do. Can't keep this. Can keep this. Yeah, it's pretty good. We need a red land. We have this like a little bit of tension right here. Maybe I'm supposed to put more of these out. Yeah. I don't think we want this. I think I'm gonna start off with the serum visions because we, we want we want like a red like we know what we want. We want a red land or we want like like red land thought scout would be a pretty solid hit here. Unfortunately, we didn't do that. I think we want one of these. So we're slowly getting off of this Gurmag Angler plan. I guess I can just do this now. Then we can hit the F6 there. Okay, so no plays from our opponent on one gives me the feeling that we're about to get hit with a... Uh, Rest in peace. There's nothing we can do about it. Yield through this turn again. We have a shadow, but like if we just get rest in peace here, I'm going to hurl. Nice. Get this. This hand's kind of coming together now. So I think I'm going to get another black land. I could get a steam vents, but like, I don't think we're going to be snap steer envisioning. I don't think we're going to do a lot with our blue land. I just want access to black mana. Steam vents might be like the adult thing to do, though. Yeah, let's just get the steam vents. We'll reserve it for this lava dad. One. We don't need this. We'll go like this and then play Lava Mancer. Hey, Tim, how you doing? Basics are so bad in modern.
wow, they just are like, my opponent's just doing nothing. This is just, we're about to get like companies rained on us here. Yeah, we're just going to get like collected company to the moon. Like our little fella. And this gets spell colored likely. We'll just bolt the spell color main phase. There's just no need to, to play around too much. The last thing that I want to do is just have my opponent um, have my opponent like us get too cute and lose the game because of that. Because we're kind of on the front foot. We could easily get collected company out of this though. Four lands, three companies, heater. I'm um, in your neck of the woods. Heading home. Yo, you're up in DC? Tim? All right, who am I shooting? Am I shooting anybody? Am I shooting myself? Is putting two power on this worth anything? I don't think it is. It might be. It might, I think it actually is, because three power means that they don't hit anything but a lord. This can't block it. I think I shoot myself. Well, shooting self or stem does make a difference, right? It grows our death shadow. Because now I've got to think, I've got to make sure that I'm okay with attacking with this shadow in here. Oh, well, now we've got, like, the dopest combat trick you've ever seen. I think with this dismember, it's going to be tough to have a lot of stuff go wrong. Like, what, what could be really bad is, like, I mean, obviously double Reflector Mage is just, like, I'm going to hurl. They can't go Reflector Mage Phantasmal Image because of how it works coming in off company. Grimlob Mancer is the most. Grimlob Mancer is just gas. All right, there's the Rattle Dead. All right, is my opponent dead? Hang on. Let's wait with this on the stack here. Smack. Dismember. Smack. Shadow is seven. Yeah, they're just dead. And we shoot ourselves. All right. The gave itself. What is this giving here? All right. Both teams played hard. Look at that. This is how we drew it up, ladies and gentlemen. Just past me, Fredericksburg. Oh, wow. You're actually really close to where I live there, Tim. Frederick Berg is like, hang on. Oh, maps. Sorry, Twitch chat. We're figuring this out. Fredericksburg, Virginia or Maryland? Oh, Fredericks, Virginia. Oh, well, that's way far away. That's like an hour away. But you likely pass through there. Okay. Uh, we're going to run it back. Yeah, I'll bring it in. I don't really like Last Hope anywhere. I wish, like crazy, we could play the Rally, though. Ugh. This hand, we could easily just get run over, I think. Oh, wow. No, no, no. Go on one is gas. No, no, no. One is very good for the home team here. 
Okay, let's see, where's my reference? Show my reference. Well, it, it matters to, to get in with our creature, right? So we have to get our really bad land. Like, Steam Vents is a super bad land. Steam Vents makes me super, super sad. Okay, so what are... Well, I'm talking about, like, Teddy, there, there could have been a chance that my Death Shadow had to interact in combat. And the difference between my Death Shadow being 3 power and 5 power could have mattered. That's why that mattered. Um, I'm a little nervous that our Gurmag Angler is going to get Path to Exiled. So, that being said, we might be a little, we might be liberal with running it out there. Or conservative, I mean. Well, now we're definitely not doing it. I don't think I want either of these. I could wait, but I'm not doing anything with my mana. They get the rattle dad. Okay. All right, we're gonna get this old Geist of Saint Tratai. This is a tough hand to beat, but we can't beat this Geist. So let's get Geist out of here. Hopefully, they just jam Drog Skull Captain. God, way to go, opponent. We're going to deal with this right now. And then we're going to play this Gurmag Angler. I'm going to be a little conservative with my street rates. Because, like, we're decently close to just dying. Though I might cycle them next turn so that I can snap a braid. Yeah, because now they have the company. They should company on their main phase, yep. They might not be playing Reflector Mages if they've got these Rattle Chains and Geists. Like, they have to make room somewhere. This is both the Street Rates, yes. Oh, there's the Reflector Mage. Vomit. And they get in for three. We're in trouble. Okay. Do I need a Death Shadow to, like, win? Take six, block, push. I feel like I need a Death Shadow. I need like a Death Shadow to win. Push, snap, push. Push, snap, push, chump. Buys me time. They have selfless spirit and one other card. Oh, they have this stupid selfless spirit coming next turn. Push. What if I snap Serum Visions and then push? Can't snap Serum Visions and play Shadow. Because I'm dead in the air. The problem is we have to hit something that's not Death Shadow in order to keep living next turn. Which is tough, but I do think it's what we're going to do. And we're going to do it on our main phase so we don't get blown out by like a rattle chains or spell queller. Like I have to draw like lightning bolt. No, I have to draw like fatal push. So I can go like fatal push this thing. 
Don't have a follow. Oh man, they can do the Moral and Hot now too. Yeah, now we're just dead. A lot of counterplay. The problem with Snap Serum Visions is that I would have had to cycle a Death Shadow. Okay, so if I'd have gone. I'm assuming that I didn't hit. But on Snap Serum Visions, I didn't have the land, right? Did I have the land? Oh shoot, I overshot it. I don't remember if I had the land or not when I started Serum Visioning or I started cycling my street rates. If I had a land, if I had my land, Snap Serum Visions lets me give me four outs to hit a shadow. And then Battle Rage next turn went. Yeah, if the land was in my hand, I think I should have done that. I think they work if they're from, like, not from your archives. Twin is twin. All right. Heater. And if we draw a Thought Seize here, what's a heater? We get that we've come we've come this far. Tilt. We get that turn one some shady though. I don't think I've done this. I have not done this in a while. It's gonna get bolted, but whatever. You found the land with the first wraith. Our opponent is playing the shadow mirror, which means my turn one shadow is not that good. Just sad. Our hand's pretty good against discard, because like what are you gonna do? You're gonna take the Snapcaster Mage that can't flash anything back. Take a Gurmag Angler. If we draw a piece something to do here besides Delve, oh my god. Yeah, dude. I'd like to let everyone know that uh, the Shadow Mirror is incredibly skillful. It, it takes a lot of precise play, and you have to be on top of your game. Like... I want to just stress how many decisions. Oh, they hit a shadow. Nice. So they have to block this shadow. Okay, this is stupid death shadow math. So I don't attack with Gurmag Angler. We just attack with death shadow. Right. Because if I attack with this, puts them to three, which makes that ten. Well, if I attack with both, and I fetch shock to three, they their shadow then is a ten ten with ten damage on it. So I'm okay attacking either way. <laughs> I'm not trading my shadow though, as their shadow only does five damage to my shadow. Because attack here, fetch shock, and then both creatures are lethal next turn. I don't think my opponent has an out after that. They could draw. They could have drawn. No, because we know their hand. Yeah. Because they can't draw red. Source and Lightning Bolt. Yeah.
twinless twin. Okay, so here is the big brain stuff is that Ben Jones has everyone playing ley lines again. So I kind of want to shuck two of these anglers. But if they have if they don't have angla angler ang they don't have anger and I'm down two ley lines, then I just feel like an idiot. It's probably too risky. I don't even like very many of these three mana cards. Like oftentimes I like Stubborn Denial more than I like any of these threes. I have to cut a card. We have a game to reconfigure if they have a ley line. I have to cut a three mana card. I think it's that one. Yeah, we're going to do this. <clears throat> um, Last Hope stays in play, which you have to keep dealing with, which I like. Twinless Twin took the play. Yep, so everyone's on to him. We're just going to keep this because we don't want to mulligan anything. Ley line right there. What? Twinless Twin chooses to play first. Oh, I thought they chose to draw. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're just going to pass here. Well, I might turn off audio because I might cycle. I really don't want to just play my Inquisition into a soft stub. Jesus. Like this is just gonna get stubbed. But I don't want to trade my shadow either. I could just do nothing. I think I just want to play slow. If I stubborn denial this, they can't play a shadow, and they tap them out, then I get to hit them back next turn. I don't want them to play a shadow. They take my Inquisition, go here. I think playing the island was stupid. I fucked up. Chat, I fucked up. What am I drawing? A thought sees. Yeah, I got to. I should have just like made him have it. I think and either jammed a shadow or jammed a discard spell. Should have definitely jammed a discard spell.
He took my stub. Hmm. It's interesting. That. I guess it's not that interesting. Goblin Rabble Master. So which one is worse? Oh fuck. I guess we just let him play Rabble Master because Liliana gets Rabble Master back. Yep. There's the mire into Rabble Dad. A black land would be nice. So we could like discard spell shadow. Get your Rabble Dad in here, buddy. Come at me with the Rabble Dad. It literally doesn't matter. We could hit a stub. I guess we could hit a stub. We should check out their top card. Okay, they're drawing a land, which means that they will likely be, they're going to be able to get nasty. So if they drew, if their other one unknown is a removal spell, we're in trouble. It's fucking island. So we're going to be able to eat one of these goblins every turn. This is the hard part about ley lines sometimes. While it's good in the mirror and should be brought in, if sometimes your opponent has shadow draws and you basically mulliganed. Though I mulliganed by playing like a dipshit in the beginning. I should have just made them have it. I should have just made them have it. We'll gladly block Rabble Master. What is this? I still trade. I guess they don't trade. This just doesn't die. What? Oh, because it's got four power. Oh, we got browned. Yeah, that's game over. Because it has four power and we don't gain to kill it. Fetch basic, play shadow, block, block, go to one. Yeah, I guess that's what we're doing here. We're going to basic. And then they have to chump away. They actually have to chump away both of their threats next turn if they miss. Because like if they attack with everything, we just go block, block, go to one. If they just attack with these goblins, we go block, block, take one, go to three. Swing back, they go chump, chump. Unless they hit like a Snapcaster Mage. Or if they hit a Snapcaster Mage, then it's like good on them. We know one of their cards is a Scalding Tongue. This mirror is so obnoxious. Because, like, it's about two or three turns of, like, really difficult magic. And then after that, it just turns into this huge punching match of, like, I like there are very few cards that are matters. There's, like, the amount of Death Shadows you draw, and then so they missed. It's like the amount of Death Shadows you draw and um, the amount of Snapcasters. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we just attack. And then we're going to play a Inquisition before combat. So if my opponent has something like a Coleon's Command, I should have been so stupid. I should have done it right now. But I guess even if they have Coleon's Command, we still get it. And we have our Snapcaster Mage. Okay. I think I'm still flashing into block here because I don't want to die to Kologon's command. They put two cards on the bottom. Just getting this in here doesn't do anything. Just get my 2 1 beater on. We're not casting Thoughtseize. Though, if this is a manuals list, he probably doesn't have. Um, probably doesn't have K Command. I don't think a manuals list did. But it's something that we should at least think about. There's Rabble Dad. We got Rabble Dad beat. Go to attack. To be honest, these Rattle Masters weren't that bad. I think it's that my opponent just like kind of flooded out. Got him. Go lay line yourself. Okay. Let's hope we can get this 3 2, get out of here with a very depressing loss to KCI. But that happens. This will probably be my last match of the night. I have to be up at 5, which is a little under, a little under 7 hours. Uh, yep, these are one of these hands you just gotta keep, and you gotta hope you get it when you play this deck. How do you like the fourth snap? I I I don't know. I've only played. This is my fourth match with it. Fifth match. Well, they they had two more in hand, Tim. Okay, so we're going to start off with this. Okay, so I don't really, I kind of want to take Monastery Swiss Spear because I really want to cantrip next turn. I don't want to have to kill this thing. Tormenting Voice is their discard outlet, but that's also card doesn't really do anything. The way the game's shaping up, they have to discard spells. I think I just want to take Monastery Swiss Sphere, as odd as that sounds. This Fatal Push is going to do something later. But, like, I don't want to have to feel like I... Well, though, if they just crack me for a million points of damage with the Swiss Sphere, that doesn't really matter. So I'd probably just take Tormenting Voice. If they get a good shot in, it just turns on my Shadow. Yeah, I usually play it. Yeah, I just moved it over. There, there's there's not really a lot of method to the madness with that. I wouldn't read into that too much. My opponent's gut shots are so good. Okay, do we want to play a slow game? The answer to that is yes. So I'm just going to... Get rid of this thing here. Yeah, I, I just I don't really like I hate faithless looting unless you're playing ley lines. Then it's good. So I can take a shot from this, but I'm going to end up just playing Gurmag Angler next turn. So I might as well just keep my life total as high as possible. So I'm gonna take two from Totsies. 
here we go. We're going to get a bunch of burn flung at us. I will take a lightning bolt. Then I will get nasty and give my opponent the opportunity to get rid of two of their cards if they would like. I do not think these Phoenix decks are very good. I think as soon as people have figured out their play patterns, I think they're pretty easy to beat. There's your land. All right, we're going to attack no matter what. Let's give him that here. Yeah, I mean, if you know your opponent's bringing in ley line, it's not bad. But I just really, I really dislike the card. I understand what it does and why it's good. I guess I want this dismember affliction hits the fan. Just never doing anything with the snapcaster mage. I have, I have put in the work. I don't play as much as some, but I do play quite a bit. Come on, man. I think I'm just EOT flashing in the Snapcast. I could have kept the island on top, but I think I'm just going to EOT this Snapcaster Mage. What are you doing? Are you coming at me? Or are you going out Gurmag Angler? Gut shot me. Respect your decision. Sounds like we got our old, old Bedlam boy coming in hot here. They can just bolt on their own turn if they hit a Bedlam Reveler, but then they can't do as much off of it. I'm just going to play this. It's not going to accomplish very much, but my hand is so thick that I need something to do. And if they double bolt my anglers, then they double bolt my anglers. That's bolt that's not going at my head. I can play my shadows. It's not great, but it is something. This is another reason why it's probably nonsense to play four snaps, because Snapcaster's not very good against these decks. Alright, there goes big angles. All right. <clears throat> if you want to bolt the fourth bolt or gut shot a shadow, go for it. That's just not a game you're winning. I hope it's actually dead next turn if they don't have a way to interact here. Yeah. I thought it was okay. First lightning. That's a big game. Get a fiery temper. Okay. And again, like, I just don't really care because that's we have another shadow. That's just not a game my opponent's winning. If they had more, if we didn't have that many shadows, I would have waited. But like if they want to use, if they don't want to use their resources to deal damage to me then and not or kill my creatures and not try to kill me and that's okay it would have been much different if i had less threats okay so we want here um i actually don't really like battle the more i play with these the more i dislike battle rage against the uh against the whatever they are the um, and I'm at a loss for words, chat. The Phoenix decks. I do like these because, because they, uh, they do sometimes bring in Shrine of Burning Rage. So I want enough outs to that. I just don't really like Battle Rage because they don't, like, 
All I have to do is interact. They don't put on a lot of blockers in the way. I just have to not lose to like trying to burning rage, and then they're just gonna die to the creatures like we saw there. Like if if, if they don't get a phoenix draw, which we have surgicals to help with, then we're in good shape. I'm gonna go test the four color version, but I'm just gonna say the next one. The four color deck's good. It's not as good as Rixus right now, though. <laughs> it was better about th two or three weeks ago. Saying so, could could be sketchy. We're living on the edge. All right, you'll keep this turn. We're just gonna thought. We're just gonna push this. We're not gonna thought seize. <laughs> we don't have a threat. We don't need to take a million damage. Probably we'll wait until the end step to stub a uh, Shrine of Burning Rage. Though we might just want to braid that and then we can stub a Faithless Looting. Alright, so big question. Do we want to push this, be able to abrade, and then have stub for... But our problem is our stub doesn't do anything yet. Because we don't have a threat. Uh, but what do I do next turn? Yeah, let's just stub this. If we had a threat and could turn that on, then I would have waited. Push this. Like if our shrine, if our shrine did something other than um If our stub could do anything besides counter that shrine, I would have been much higher on doing that. All right, you get your faith saluting. We might take a lot of damage because I'm going to push this. I'm going to fetch shot, take two, push, fetch shot. I'm going to be at 10 at least next turn. Three ditch bolt, tormenting voice. There's a world where we thought sees as well. I kind of want a thought seize because it makes sense for them to have like a bedlam reveler in their hand. Yeah, now we're definitely thought seizing. Blood moon. I guess I don't even really care about that blood moon. Like we'll just go fetch a basic. Yeah. I'll just deal with the thing that kills me. If my opponent taps out for a blood moon here, then like you got it. I'm gonna push this. Again, leave the abrade because it hits whatever. Yeah, nice desert, man. Uh, let's see what you got. Fiery temper. I should have played my bobble. Before, but I'm, it's like I'm not taking any other card. Opponent's hitting a fiery temper. Oh, turn off auto yields. Is it worth it to take two to not take three? Five. Nah, we'll make them invest the mana. God, that would rate. That makes a little bit of sense, but. Okay, command. Your man doesn't do anything. Hmm. Right, they hit a land. I'm surprised they didn't play that. They didn't flash back their looting, but I guess they can flash looting back now. They're just touching it off. Do I want to take out this Faithless Looting? I think I do. We 
your blood then. Okay, so now it's just like which one of us breaks this inept horribleness. It's basically whichever one of us hits more. We have all eight of our threats are in our deck. So we have three revelers, two swift spears, and the four phoenixes. All right. I wonder what the last card is. The yeah, opponent's text, it's all right. Um, I wish we had something to do, but we can't really afford to. I should, probably should keep my lands. All right. This is where things get rough. But we can deal with it because we can like K command up a braid, which we'll probably just do. As bad as that feels here. They have two spells to cast, we're likely dead anyways. I'm going to take out these Bezel Nebblers. Now we're just like picking off as much stuff as we can. They easily could have like a Phoenix, which Phoenix is going to kill us. Oh man, we hit a Bezel Nebbler. But they also have a Phoenix, which means we need to hit a removal spell next turn. And this is just like sometimes this happens. Like you don't hit a threat in the top 20 cards of your deck. And that is the world we live in. Ugh. That's a tough that's a tough way to tough way to go down there. But that's why we get that's why we get three games. We're just gonna bring it back. That's a tough way to lose there. I appreciate everyone that's been uh, showing up tonight. It's gonna be my last game of the night. Hopefully, we can get that uh, that three two. <clears throat> that's what I'm. That's what I'm hoping happens. Which is very sad that we lost the first round of the day to uh, to Ironworks. I guess that's the first time I lost to Ironworks in a while. But Ironworks is a great deck. When people play great decks, that kind of thing happens. They might board out their Phoenixes. They saw so many Surgicals. All right. Here we go. Doesn't snap your value in your border and your extraction. Um, like kind of. But the only really good thing to hit is Arclight Phoenix. I think Snapcaster is just too slow against this deck. Okay, so we can deal with a Swiss Spear. I just want to take a Swiss Spear and then. Kill a Swift Spear, play a Death Shadow. If they temper it, then we get to just. Um, if they temper it, then we get to bring it back with Colgon's Command later. Let's go get. Probably just Blood Crypt. We also can just bolt ourselves. Visions is way better than looting, in my opinion. Manamorphos. Hmm. 
Because worst comes the worst, they attack, we can just bolt ourselves. Which I'm kind of already doing. I agree with Milk Dead. But if you play if you play Leyline in the Void, I understand it. Like I, I have played I've played looting in my deck when I played when I've had Leyline in the Void in the past. Wow, no plays. Oh, that was stupid. I did this out of order. Do that. I, I just missed sequence there. Do we just try to power out all threats? Everybody's asking, do you draw this card? To go on sideboard ley line, just so I don't have to play it in the main, but sideboard ley line. No, I, I like to play Sergio. I just don't think that Visions does enough, sadly. Uh, I think we're just going to preserve our lethal here. Going down to seven isn't that bad, though. Well, I guess it means temper, temper, gut shot. So I didn't think of that. All right, there's big angles. Though a stubborn denial would be nice here. Because we are pretty browned to the perfects. Alternatively, I can just command them because they're probably going to temper here. I can then command them, shock them, make them discard a card in response. Because we know they have at least these left in their hand. Then I lose the game to land, swift spear. So they draw perfects. We're dead. All right, we're just going to hold. There's land. They can't, they can't bed the reveler into it. Okay. Is that Brad's Twitter handle? Is that his Twitch thing? All right, so we got him here. So let's just... Okay, so let's head back over here and talk about the deck. Here. Um, so uh, I like I like what this deck is doing here. Um, why can't I go Brad Brad for rig? Doesn't deal with a raid, huh? Backslash host Brad or rig most enraged. Okay, so um, I I mean I like this deck. I I don't think that I would make this change in real life. I think that's what we would do. Um, I do think the metagame is starting to move to this deck where um. 
Maybe things slow down. Maybe you move back to the old version of the deck. I'm not sure. But yeah, I mean, the deck's pretty good. Like, there's there's no other way around it. If you play well, you've got good matchups right now. The deck's just well positioned well. But I'm going to send you all out. Go to Brad's stream. Enjoy Brad's stream. Follow Brad. And I hope everyone has a great rest of the night.